But the man seriously needs to stop wearing any form of leather. Most if people do. There, you know, if there is any just or kindness in the universe, Mick Jagger will stop wearing leather. And, you know, eventually just kind of crumble away. <laughs> and I'm not saying the man wasn't a good musician. I'd never say that. They have lawyers everywhere. <laughs> I mean... I've noticed this enhanced village mod also seems to make very few blacksmith shops generate. Really? Well, I mean, there's still one per village, but it's a bigger village now, and there's one. There was two at the village I was just at. Okay, maybe I'm just running into the poop villages then. Probably. Guess it depends where you are. It was funny. It was, I read an article one time from someone who had actually like worked in an FAO Schwartz. And um, they mentioned that, like, Mick Jagger came into their store and everyone made a huge deal about it. And he kind of realized that Mick Jagger was a really normal guy. Except that he wasn't in any way, shape, or form. He's like a normal person who was behaving like they thought someone rich should behave. <laughs> so, like, he would walk through, like, the store... And as he walked through the store, he would put down the items he wanted in, like, the center of the room. And he didn't tell you that this was what he was doing. He would just do it and assume that you were supposed to know what he was doing. But then he would get really excited when he looked at, like, a certain toy or something that he had heard about and was interested in. Mm -hmm. And apparently he was utterly obsessed with, like, magic eye portrait books. <laughs> The point where he stopped in the middle of the store and while he hadn't been talking to the clerk, he was like, Oh, this book from this company. I've been waiting for this to come out for a while. I've been hyper excited, blah, blah, blah. And like, perfect and normal. Like, the odd thing is once he started talking to me like a normal person, he was behaving perfectly normally and he seemed to relax a lot. And then five minutes later, my store's manager, a female, came up to him and started telling him stories about how she had lost her virginity listening to his music. <laughs> and he said, and you could just see his eyes glaze over. <laughs> like, you, you know, because he said, you know, this would be the kind of, you know, thing that if an average guy heard yet, you know, you know I, I, a woman say, I get aroused every time I hear your voice, you'd be like, hey. <laughs> but this man probably hears it 80 or 90 times a day. Yeah. He is sick of hearing about it. Mm -hmm. He is sick of hearing how he's every single, you know, woman who has lived through the 1980s sexual fantasy. <laughs> or 70s through 80s, you know, and he just does not care anymore. And he, But he still was very polite and very nice. And I like, yes, that's very lovely to hear. I'm very flattered. Thank you. And then left as quickly as possible. As you do. But apparently, like, Mick Jagger fucking, um, like, sent a note specifically to the president of the company saying how nice the clerk had been. Because he had talked to him about magic eye books. Mm -hmm. It's like, cool. If I ever meet a celebrity, I'll make sure to talk to them exactly like you would anyone else and not give a fuck. <laughs> The closest I can get is uh, having vaguely known in passing Michelle Yeoh. Who? Uh, Chinese martial artist. She was in a James Bond movie I can't remember the name of. And she was in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. And she was in like a billion other movies. And she's not actually a martial artist. She knows ring rhythmic gymnastics. But if you tell anyone that, they get extremely angry with you for no va uh, valid reason. Of course. Even though it's actually the truth. Um, of course. But, yeah. Uh, but, um, I vaguely met her in passing. Though, interestingly enough, uh, my friend actually, or my friend Eric, when he came back to town, they're like, hey... Do you want to come see my various friends' band sometime? I'm like, why? It's like, well, he's in a band with uh, Sid Meier. Sid Meier is actually their guitar player. I'm sure that means someone to somebody, but... Inventor of Civilization. Oh. The video game series, not, you know, Civilization. 
Oh, well, that's less cool. <laughs> yeah, but let's see, Civilization and Pirates, uh, or his Pirates game was amazing. But yeah, I was like, I would like to see that, but the problem is I cannot say I should, because having played and loved his video games, I would not be able to interact with him normally. And at that point, I would rather just not meet someone I admire and make myself look retarded. Right. Uh, like, if you want me to go, you know, if you want to, I'll go see the band. That's fine. Just don't introduce me. Just have me, you know, sit back and wave. Uh, uh, that's the thing. Everyone, I'd love to meet my celebrity hero. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I'd look like a knob. What part about that sounds like a great idea? I have just found an infinite amount of ocean, apparently. Well, it always looks infinite, but it's, you know, it ends sometime. I'm going to sail in one direction. You know, there was that time that I went, like, 25,000 meters. I if, think I'm close to that. But I also on had Zor my world set on, you know, massive-sized oh, yeah. biomes. <laughs> Remember the world we spawned in that one time? The island? Where we were... Yeah, the island... Where we started chasing you out into the sea and beating you to death. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I don't yeah, remember that at all, Jay. We were at, like, negative 25,000, negative 25,000, because that was the absolute nearest that any land mass was. Yes. Like, wow, really? What did I do? <laughs> Minecraft. It hates me. Yeah. Oh, I'm seeing a whole bunch of absolutely nothing out here. Yeah. Guess I chose the better direction to go. Yeah. I think it's again I've gone in the opposite direction you have. Well, I'm heading right, and I've currently kind of made a gigantic like duck penis in the water. So, what distinguishes a duck penis from, you know, any other kind of penis? Duck penises are corkscrew shaped. Really? Yes. Hmm. And that is because female duck vaginas are corkscrew-shaped uh, as well in order to fend off the fact that male ducks are horrible rapists. Okay. I knew that part. Because, because nature. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> and awful, no matter really how you look at it. I never feel bad whenever anything in nature dies unless it's a pet. <laughs> That's not really Pets nature, though. No, well, pets are not really nature so much as furniture. <laughs> I mean, my cat, Mona, is basically furniture at her age. She's furniture that atta occasionally attacks your hand. But, you know. That doesn't really seem like a selling point. Nah. You know, that and, of course, the, you know, fucking Hand Grinder 3000 is no better, uh... <laughs> I think that was by Sealy. Um, <laughs> it came free with posturpedic beds, but people kept dropping their hands into them while they were sleeping. Why they kept them by the beds, I don't know, but maybe it was an attachment. You needed that in order to activ activate the vibrating function. It actually was the Ooh, vibrating cool function. It's just a couple of, you know, huge industrial grinding wheels. All right. Come on. Now it's raining. It certainly is. Oh, oh look. Little fucking islands. It's the Fuckland Islands. <laughs> I'm just going to throw these bottles of enchanting into the ocean. I don't care anymore. Where'd you get bottles of enchanting? From one of the dungeons. I mean... I don't really need to worry about experience too much. Unless we can enchant Pokeballs. Enchant them with catching? Yeah. That would be awesome. Hmm. Enchant them with Captivity 3. Yes, Captivity 3. <laughs> Maybe they're already enchanted with that. Oh, good lord. Alright, where did we start? We were at... Let me, let me see. Don't you have a waypoint? Okay, home is at 422 by 338, and I am currently at 6519 by 1878. I captured Quilava. 
Oh, cool. Which means I can turn the rain off. Hey! Wait. Why did the rain have to be Oh, because you were in the battle. Yes. Wee! I like that every now and then it'll lag and just launch me forward violently. You're riding your Pokemon, aren't you? Over the top of the water. Yeah, it does that. Wee! Wait, does that land? No, but it's another fucking waterborne village. There's like nine of them within a short distance of our, you know, Pokemon Center. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of a bit sick of seeing Watertown. Well, nobody liked Wait, Waterworld. That... Yeah, well, that's because it was an awful movie and anyone who liked it should feel bad. Pretty much. I mean... I mean... I don't say shit about Battlefield Earth because... Because you're afraid of the Scientologists? Everyone should be afraid of the fucking Scientologists, <laughs> but still. For some reason, I kind of liked that movie when I was very young. You were very young, weren't you? Yeah, I... I think I saw it like the year it came out, but... That was so long ago, I barely can point towards land. What? Is that land? Oh my god, I think it is. I think I found an actual land mass. And it's a mushroom biome. So, my Ampharos gained uh, 1,214 experience points, and then my Ampharos gained 1,214 experience points. Because you have XP share on him? Apparently so. Yeah, it doesn't double it from what I've heard, but it will just do that every time. Yeah, I found, uh, well, it's, uh... There's no Pokemon in mushroom biomes. That's interesting. There are. Well, they're underground. You'll find, like, uh, Paris and Parasect. You find the mushroom biome? Yeah. It is on an island by itself. Well, they usually are. Yeah. The uh, continental ones, like we've been in before, are actually unusual. Huh. Oh. Did not know this. Well, you don't know anything, Jay. Nope, and I try not to. You succeed, generally. That means when people ask me questions, I just go, what? <laughs> huh? Uh, like I said earlier, I hate it when people try and make me do things. Angel is the exception to that. She wants me to do something? Alright. Yeah, but that's only because she's sitting there and can hear you saying that. Or, you know, she'll hit me. Well, that was kind of implied, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, but, um. <laughs> There's a gold duck. Right. Oh. Guess I'll kill this Arbok first, though, since it decided to be an oh. asshole. Wait, wait, wait. Was that an actual normal island? I hope so. Oh, God. Why am I. Why did it suddenly suck me underwater? What's going on? Whirlpool? Normal. No, nah, it's just normally I can kind of get him to, uh,. I can kind of get Zorok to, like, glide on the surface of the water. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, he just went, nope, you're going straight under the water. And that was weird. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it looks like, um, if you, yeah, if you get off of um, a Pokemon that has, or is surfing... While it's underwater, you get the permanent night vision. Hmm. So, at least I know how to duplicate that. Very useful thing. And cheat like hell. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't care. Naturally. Uh, A Psyduck. Can I catch it? Uh, Level 10. I might be able to catch that without even battling it. Good lord. How far am I? Um, good God, that's actually, I'm currently at, all right, I started at 4.22, and I'm currently at 80.74. Well, that's a little ways. Yeah. Seems like I think I'm going to have to be heading back shortly, because I'm actually pretty, another goddamn floating village. <laughs> Pretty uh, exhausted at this point. I'm apparently in the swamp of all the Pokemon. 
The Swamp of All Pokemon. Legends tell of the Swamp of All Pokemon. There's just like everything here. I'm not going to be that long. Uh, uh, but I think I'm going to head back and uh, we're going to have to call it shortly because I am exhausted. Mm -hmm. Actually, let me head back now. And... Eh. Teleport back on my Zoroark. Ah. Fine. Hey, Arnold. Fine. <laughs> Just realized what I said there. <gasps> oh, I thought you did that but on I... purpose. Nope. But anyway, I'm going to stop recording because I'm exhausted. Oh, uh, I just want to plan again for next. I see a boss on my map. I want to see if I can catch up to it. Right, well, I'm gonna pause <laughs> my end or stop my end.